This is McFly Angler. starts now. For a hook, you will want a long shank saltwater hook like these from Risen Fly, and today I'm tying a size 6. We will also want some brass dumbbell eyes, and today I'm using the 3.2mm in black. You don't want these too large, but also you don't want them too small either. Just test them against the hook. Place the hook securely in your vise. For thread, I will be using this Vivis 140 in pink. Start your thread behind the hook eye and then bring your thread down to about a quarter of the way down the hook shank before snipping off the waist. Now build a thread bump to lay the dumbbell eyes on, but don't wrap too much behind the hook eye and end with your thread about two hook eye lengths back from the hook eye. Tie in the dumbbells on top of the thread bump about two hook eye lengths back from the hook eye with X wraps and under wraps. When they're on tightly, then bring your thread down to the start of the bend of the hook, ensuring not to go into the actual hook bend. Stop right before it, like so. Now we need some crystal flash, and today I'm using pearl. Pull off five to six strands. Okay, I need a little bit more here. Okay, there we go, that's six. Cut the tips off to keep them aligned. Measure out about a hook shank length, and then tie in the flash at that measurement so there is a short tail of flash off the back. Make sure though not to tie too far up the hook shank. Just make a couple tight wraps and then fold back the flash and tie back up on top of it to keep it angling rearward. Now for some reason my thread kept jumping in front of the flash here, but with some effort I finally got it where I wanted it. Tie up to behind the dumbbells and then back down a little bit and back up to create a bit of a taper. And then bring your thread up to just in front of the dumbbell eyes. Now we need some super glue. Paint some on top and bottom of the dumbbell eyes, and also on the body to keep the flash secure. Now proceed to wrap the flash around the hook shank with touching wraps, creating a smooth and slightly tapered body. Wrap over the eyes with X wraps, and then end with the flash under the eyes sticking forward past the hook eye. Now rotate the fly in your vise. You might ask why I don't do the rotary feature here, and that's because the vise will get in the way of the next steps. Now with all that room to work, you can now grab the flash and pull it rearward and tie back up over it, ensuring that the flash is tied directly rearward and not angling too much to one side. Cut the flash wing off about as long as the flash tail. Now we need some craft fur, and I like this extra select in sand color. You don't need too much here, these should be tied fairly sparse. Cut off a small amount and then pinch halfway up and pull out the under fur and short fibers. Now I find this to be too tapered for my liking, so I lightly grasp the base of the fiber and then pull out the extra long fibers and replace them back into the bunch so they line up with the shorter ones. Then I do this again, and here even a third time until I was happy with the taper. Now measure out that wing to slightly longer than the flash and then cut it off square at that measurement. Now with the ends of the fiber sticking out a little past the hook eye, make a couple wraps to hold it down, and then slide back the fiber so it's removed from the hook eye before binding down tightly to hold it into place. If you notice the thread pushing forward, and you think it will slip off the fiber, then make a wrap or two in front of the fiber, right behind the hook eye, and it should keep this from happening. Keep making tight wraps to really hold it down in place, before making your whip finish. To finish this fly, I like painting a bit of this ultra thin resin by Solares over the whip finish and dumbbell eyes before curing it with the UV light. This will secure the fiber and keep it from pulling out and also keep those eyes from moving as well. Plus it gives it a really nice finish. And there we have it, the finished Christmas Island special. Now this is a variation of the Crazy Charlie which I tied for you guys last week. Like the Crazy Charlie, it is very easy and quick to tie. You can fill up a box quickly and this fly works for a number of species, more than just bonefish which it was originally made for. But fish like permit, redfish, speckled trout, and even more will eat it. And let me know in the comment section if you've had luck with this pattern in the past. As you all know, I've gotten you all discounts from www.risenfly.com. They manufacture all their own hooks, rods, reels, fly tying tools, and other gear for fly fishing. Not only are the prices at their shop very good already, but like I said, they're offering you 15% off of your first order with them. So go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for a discount on your entire cart.
I want to also thank all of my patrons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and even discounts on purchasing flies I tie and sell. Yes, that's right. I do sell flies hand tied by me. If you want to order, you can do so through Patreon for that discount or just place an order by finding me on Instagram or Facebook. Or if you don't use social media, then you can go to my YouTube homepage, click the about section, and then click view email address and email me with your order. I want to also thank all of you who share all my videos and your continued support by hitting the like button and being my subscriber. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.